Sunday night and I just got back from a three day wedding. It was an amazing time. We had so much fun, but I over ate and over drank for three straight days. So what I want to do in this video, I want to go over somewhat of an aggressive like workout and diet plan that I'm going to follow next week just to get me back in shape, to jumpstart my body, get myself back on track. So if you're feeling like me, if you've been overindulging yourself and you want to get back on track and you want to do something pretty aggressive for seven days, follow along with me with this program. Leave comments below the video. Okay, so what I'm going to do tomorrow starting day one Monday is I'm going to wake up 5.30 in the morning. I'm going to drink a cup of black coffee. I'm going to drink one bottle of Pellegrino mineral water to hydrate myself. And I'm going to take a 45 minute walk, obviously in a fasted state. It's going to be great to burn some body fat, great to clean my mind. I'm going to start off my day on a real positive note by walking. I'm going to do that every single morning for the next seven days. So join me. Wake up in the morning, take a 45 minute walk with me for seven days in a fasted state. Now I'm also going to be pretty aggressive on Monday. I'm going to fast the entire day on Monday. For example, it's Sunday night now. I'm going to have my last meal tonight. I'm going to be done by seven o'clock and then I'm going to fast all day on Monday and I'm not going to eat until 7 p.m. tomorrow night. And I will drink a lot of mineral water. I like to drink hibiscus tea. I may drink some black coffee. I want to be pretty busy during the day, but you can do it. Do it along with me. Fast for 24 hours tomorrow on Monday. And besides doing that 45 minute walk, I'm also going to do my resistance training workout. For example, I'm going to train my upper body on Mondays. I'm going to train my lower body on Tuesday along with core and a little bit of high intensity cardio work. And then I'm going to repeat that process for seven days, meaning that Wednesday, I'm going to do my upper body again, right? Thursday, I'm going to do my high intensity cardio lower body and core. And I'm going to keep on repeating that for the seven days. That's going to be, be, be pretty much my workout plan. And I'm also really going to be somewhat aggressive with the workouts. Also later in the evening at around seven o'clock, I'm also going to get on the Nordic track, which I have in my house and just do a, neat, a nice, easy 20 minute, easy aerobic Nordic track and do a little bit of mobility movement, a little bit of stretching, a little bit of active stretching after Nordic track. So it's going to be a pretty aggressive workout plan for the week. I may even be overtraining slightly. Now when it comes to Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the six remaining days, I'm going to follow an 18-6 time-restricted eating protocol. Where I'm going to fast for 18 hours, taking all my calories within a six-hour eating window, and I'm going to follow two mad. I'm only going to eat two meals a day. And I know you may have watched some of my recent videos talking about how a lot of the new research when it comes to intermittent fasting is leading towards you might do better if you actually eat breakfast and skip dinner. It may be better for maintaining muscle mass or increasing muscle mass, but I tried that and, and it just doesn't fit into my schedule. I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm still going to skip breakfast, do my fasted walk, and then I'm going to break my fast around maybe anywhere between one, two o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm also going to make a little bit of a change. Me and my wife typically would have dinner somewhat late in the evening, maybe be done by eight o'clock. We're going to tighten it up. I'm going to try to be done with dinner by six o'clock every single day. So two mad, 18 hour fast, two meals a day, done by 6 p.m. in the evening. And I'm going to also go very low carb for the week, lower than typical. I'm going to make sure I don't eat more than 50 total grams, not even neck grams, no more than 50 total grams of carbohydrates per day for the next seven days. So by the end of the week, I know I'm going to be in, in, in a mild state of ketosis where my liver is, is converting body fat into ketone body. It's going to be a good fat burning state. I'm going to deplete all my, my glycogen levels by the end of the week. So I have to say, I do feel bloated now doing this wedding, which was an incredible wedding. One of the most fun three days I've ever had at a wedding, incredible wedding, but I ate tons of bread. I ate, I, it was a vegetarian wedding tons of carbohydrates. My muscles are like full with glycogen. I'm, I'm sure I gained five, six pounds from water weight from filling up my muscles with glycogen. So that's one of my main goals for the next seven days is to deplete my glycogen levels, get into a mild state of ketosis, really up 
my activity level by doing these like two or three time a day type workouts. But I'm gonna keep the workouts relatively short. Even the resistance training is gonna be no more than maybe 30, 45 minutes. So I got a 45 minute walk in the morning, then maybe the resistance training will be about 45 minutes even with the hit, and then the easy cardio for 20, 30 minutes with some mobility movement at the end of the day. And I know I'm gonna feel amazing by the end of the week. So do it along with me. If you just, just need something to get yourself going, follow along this plan with me, leave comments below the video, and we'll do it together.